Welcome to Ask Chuck webcast. Once again, it's my opportunity to answer orally some questions that come in by Facebook or uh, tweet, uh, Twitter or email. And I want to thank you for those questions. Uh, by the way, we do this webcast weekly, except next week Congress won't be in session. Uh, so I probably will be uh, a week after next before I do it again, but I invite you to participate at that particular time. Uh, as is usual, I take a couple questions that come in uh, and answer them orally, and what I don't answer orally, uh, we'll answer uh, either by email or by postal mail. So I'm going to start with the first question from Dave in Des Moines tweets, quote, what do you think of Buffett's proposal to increase taxes on very wealthy people. It responds to the president's approach to spending. He thinks we have a taxing problem. We don't have a taxing problem. We have a, a spending problem in Washington. You know, from my standpoint, it would be one thing to increase taxes if it went to the bottom line reducing the deficit. But I'm a disciple of Professor Vetter of Ohio University who has studied tax increases over a long period of time. And that is that if you increase taxes by a dollar, it gives Congress a license to spend a dollar seventeen cents. Now that's over a long period of time. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but on an average of a dollar seventeen cents. Well, you increase taxes by a dollar, and you don't do much about the deficit unless you change behavior in Washington, D.C. And that's why I say we don't have a, uh, a, a, ta a problem of people being undertaxed. We have a problem of Congress overspending. Uh, and so we have to tackle the expenditure problem if we're going to get uh, the balance, uh, the budget balance as we should. Uh, so uh, whether it's taxes on anybody at this particular point, I don't see it as solving the problem. I see it as making the problem much worse. Uh, the second question comes from uh, Linda Stone City. Senator, I have to say I appreciate the investigations, but nothing ever happens. Will there be fines, firings, or anything at all for breaking the law? Uh, I think you're writing in about my uh, security and exchange documents uh, shredding that I've been investigating. And already there's been a change of behavior in the Security and Exchange Commission by them putting out an order, no more document shredding. Uh, and uh, so we have already made some impact. Now, will people that have been violating the law uh, be fined, fired, etc.? We'll have to com complete our investigation and find out how serious law violation was, but I do believe that there's law violation, how serious it is, whether or not anybody's going to be punished as a result of it. Now, you remember that we're in the Congress. We don't have the power to prosecute. That comes from the executive branch of government. But we can sure set in stage a motion where we think people ought to be prosecuted. And if my investigation leads me to that point, that's where we'll go. But it's more apt to be firing or discipline in this particular instance, I believe. So thank you very much for participating with your two questions, uh, Steve and Linda. Uh, also, I would suggest to you that uh, we're going to be uh, starting today and into the rest of this week be working on two things. One, we're going to start debate on some trade-related legislation uh, and particularly something that's going to set the stage so we can take up the Panama, uh, Colombia, and Cor South Korea Free Trade Agreement. And to do the general system of preferences, which is one trade piece of legislation, and trade adjustment assistance, which is another uh, trade-related piece of legislation, it's necessary to get these out of the way before the president is going to send up the treaties for us to uh, finally pass and I think they will pass and it's very important we get to that stage because when we pass uh, these treaties it's going to open up a lot of markets for billions of our products to be uh, sold overseas and with uh, more sales of our products 
uh, we will reach a point where we'll create a lot more jobs in America, and those are good jobs, probably paying about 15% above uh, the average wage in America. Uh, the second piece of legislation we're going to take up will be a spending bill uh, to get us uh, beyond the end of this fiscal year into the next fiscal year called a continuing resolution and because the appropriation bills aren't ready at this point to fund 100% of the government into the next year, this will fund government for a few weeks into next fiscal year at the present level of expenditures. Uh, no increases at this point. In fact, I don't expect any increases for all of next year uh, because uh, we've already made a decision that we ought to spend less in 2013 than we did, or in 2012, than we did in the 2011 fiscal year. Thank you very much. Look forward to your participating the week after next in Ask Chuck webcast. So be ready to email, uh, tweet, or Facebook uh, your questions to me. Thank you very much.